Navigating the frozen food aisle can be tricky. Some frozen meals may look healthy and filling, but they really aren't. Here with tips for what to look out for and what to avoid when shopping for a frozen meal is Health Magazine's senior food and nutrition editor, Francis Largeman Roth. Francis, great to see you again. Great to see you. So frozen food can be a great way of saving money. It's convenient, but you really have to know what to look out for, right? Absolutely. There's so many choices when you go to the grocery store, and these days there are some really healthy ones, but there are also some not so great ones mm. for you, so you have to learn how to read the label and what to look for. And so what are the key things we're looking for? Well, as far as calories go, you want a meal that's not going to top out over 500 calories, and all the options that we have here today are well under that. Fantastic. And then as far as sodium goes, you know, sodium is a real buzzword right now. Um, a lot of companies are trying to cut back on the amount of salt in their products, so no more than about 700 milligrams. 700 milligrams. Mm -hmm. Okay, that still sounds like a lot. Right. But Try to get less, right. but no more than 700 okay. milligrams because our total for the day is only supposed to be 2,300 right. milligrams. Now, what about fiber? Should we be looking for some fiber in our frozen food? Definitely. And now there are better options than ever. There are frozen entrees with brown rice mm. and uh, you know, bulgur wheat right. and things like that. So look for three grams um, and, and possibly more, right. but definitely at least three grams of fiber. And then to also keep you feel full and satisfied, 10 grams of protein is a good benchmark. Okay, great, because you, you want it to be a balanced meal. The point is it's got to be balanced. Right. Now, so in calories, you, you've talked about, what about fat? Do we need to watch out for fat? Absolutely. So 15 grams of total fat, mm -hmm. you don't want to go over that, and then no more than 5 grams of saturated fat. All right. And you also say, don't forget, that you can you know, you can mix some accompaniments in with your frozen meal. Definitely, especially with these, the, all the ones that we picked are only about 300 calories. So 300 calories may not keep you full, on, you know. I know it wouldn't keep me full. Until the but end that, of the day, yeah, right? Yeah. You know, and you yeah. might be running to the vending machine, which is what you don't want. So supplement to the meal. So add a piece of fruit, add some vegetables, add a side salad, um, a whole grain pita, something like that to round it out to about 400 calories, which is a nice solid meal. Great advice. All right, Francis, let's dive right in yes. to these top picks. These are your picks for the best frozen meal options, right? right tastiest, you know, most nutritious, be uh, best balanced Fantastic. Meals. So the first one on your list is the Kashi Red Curry Chicken. Right. Is that right? Take a taste. Yeah, it's definitely. really delicious. Now, you'll find a lot of sort of uh, Indian and Asian flavors on the marketplace these bite. days because if they use more spice, they can use less fat. Mm. That's really good. It's really good, and it has Kashi's seven whole grain blend. There's a lot of curry. You have to like curry. Yeah. I love curry. That is delicious. It's wow. delicious, and it keeps you satisfied. Mm -hmm. It has vegetables in it. And I would pair that up with probably an orange to balance out the spice. Fantastic. And roughly all of these are about five bucks? About five bucks. Okay, that Some sounds less. good. You know, less than takeout. That's right? right. Now, somebody in the control room was just telling me how they love mac and cheese. All and right. And they were telling me that they bought a, nut, a different type of mac and cheese. And I said, you really want to go for this one because this is only 290 calories. 290 from calories. From cuisine. My toddler should be trying this. He's the real mac and cheese expert. Yeah. <laughs> and it's really, I mean, it's delicious. It's creamy. Mm -hmm. The other thing that I want to point out about these types of meals is that they actually can help you learn about portion control, right? These are actually not not huge dinner plates. These are more of a salad plate size, and so you're getting enough to keep you full, but not not too, not, not too, too much. much. Now, is this supposed to be a low fat, low cal version? Because it says lean cuisine. Yeah, it's it only tastes, 290 calories, seven grams of fat. Oh, wow, it tastes like a full fat, regular macaroni and cheese dinner. I know, love they, that. They did a great job on that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. All right, now we've got Amy's Indian vegetable korma. More Indian food. I happen to love yes, Indian food. This is my favorite, taste wise. So you get it's got a, a nice couple different things here. So what should I right, taste? Right, you've the got lentils? the korma vegetables here, the lentils, mm -hmm. you've got the dal here, and the basmati rice. That's what I really like. Right, go um, and it has also cashews in mm -hmm. it, raisins, really, really authentic flavor, I think. Mm. Very good. Absolutely good. Um, this is the korma. Okay. Yeah. And they Very have another good. one with some cheese in it. So they actually have a lot of different Indian style meals. They also have some that are even lower in sodium. So look out for that if you have a problem with high, high blood pressure. Is this one sort of medium in the sodium? Yeah. Okay. All right. It's not over our 700 limit, but right, right, you know, right. All right. can now, go less. And, and then now finally. Lean cuisine. We have two lean cuisine picks. Interesting. This okay. is from their new spa cuisine line. Mm -hmm. So it has the really fresh clean flavors mm -hmm. uh, and really, you know, the, the sort of upscale flavor palette that you might find. Are those cranberries those I see in there? Those are cranberries. 
cranberries. Wow, this is cranberry apple this. chicken. And mm. it has an apple reduction along with the dry mm. cranberries in it. It's really delicious, very filling, great for people who love um, a really nice chicken entree. That is delicious. And a good word for it is, like you said, clean. It tastes yes. very clean. Not a lot of additives. Fresh, delicious. That's right. Mm. Francis, thank you so much. These are thank all fabulous you, picks. You've done all the hard work for us. Now we can go straight to the frozen right. food go, aisle. Go straight. And know what we're looking for. All right, for more tips, be sure to check out Health Magazine. And, of course, you can always visit us on the health page at abcnews.com for the latest medical news.